To add an audio file into a Clint sequence, drag and drop the file from the media library to the audio track of the timeline. The file will take its duration on the timeline, and you can't change it unless you click on the loop option. Once you click on the loop option, you will be able to change the file duration, and the file will loop for the duration of its presence on the timeline. Another interesting feature for audio files is the continuous audio option. I'm going to set my sequence to 5 seconds to show you an example. If I click the continuous audio option here, I can define the volume at the end of the sequence and the volume in case an overlay sequence opens. This means that when I export my project to the player, the audio file will continue playing even after the 5 seconds of the sequence are done. The same thing will happen if I open a sequence in overlay mode. The audio file of this sequence will continue playing even though I'm viewing another sequence. Keep in mind that if I add audio controls to an audio file, it will no longer stay in the audio track, but will be in the visual media tracks, since now it is a visual element that I can see and manipulate. The same options of loop and continuous audio apply even when I have controls for my audio file.